When you're an innovator, most of the time you're failing. You're, you're, things, things are not working out for you pretty well, right? And Edison Award winning that, I think, a uh, recognition of that, I should say that's like winning, uh, really provides uh, a sense of if someone else actually saw your work and not just the output of the work, but the process of innovation to achieve what you did as noteworthy. The, the first uh, project I, I won in Edison uh, with was uh, the re refrigerator in India called Chota Cool uh, for a client that, that I was working with at the time. And it was impactful for me, but it was also very impactful for that client because uh, that company used the Edison Awards as a means to propel it to do more innovation in that area and now that business is a, a growing business for them. You like to think the Edison Awards is a, a, a big tent. We, we don't, we're not looking at the most popular innovation. We're looking at, you know, we're not looking at the most popular brand even, but we want to recognize innovation in all forms, not just product, but services. So you'll find um, brands like Lenovo or Tesla here along with a, a, a new brand called White Viking, which is a water purifier. So you'll see all different types of people at the Edison Awards, which I think is, is terrific. And it's really in the true, true spirit of innovation. What we really want to do is make it much more prominent globally as the premier organization to recognize innovation. We've been getting more and more entrants from outside of the U.S., which is exciting, but over the next three to five years, we really want to encourage um, global participation from markets all over the world. With Edison Universe, what we want to do is actually reach much more students. So Edison Universe, really, it's about reaching out to kids in, in you know, middle school ages. So over the next uh, you know, few years, you're going to see a, that's the shift that's going to happen, much more global, reach a lot more people.